So this is what we are hearing now regarding the death of Ifain, David Doe's first son, who lost his life on the 31st of October 2022 in a swimming pool that is in their property. So this is a full picture of the swimming pool area in David Doe's house. I guess this is one way to get in through the backyard. The other way is by the corner of the, of the house, by the side of the house, but it's gated and locked with a padlock. From everything we know, it's not stated how Ifain was able to get out of the house into the pool. He may have gone through the backyard or he may have gone through the corner but it seems as though the gate at the corner leading to the pool is padlocked so the best guess is through the back door now we have heard also that the police have arrested uh, davido's domestic staff those in charge of taking care of the little boy including a nanny a chef security guard and pretty much everyone in the house at the time this little boy uh, went into the pool to lose his life. And this is what is being said that is going on in the police station as we speak. The nanny who is in charge of the boy directly said that she was with Ifain, they were together as always, and she received a phone call and decided to step aside to take the call. But in her defense, before she left Ifain, the chef was with them. So the nanny assumed that the chef is looking after Ifine at this point when she went to take her phone calls. After the nanny was done taking her calls, she's now like, okay, where is uh, where is Ifine? Still thinking Ifine is with the chef because when she came back to the sitting room or where they were sitting, Ifine wasn't there and the chef wasn't there. But the nanny did not worry too much. She just assumed Ifine was with the chef and she didn't even check. Only to wait a few moments later to see the chef without Ifine and she asked, uh, where is Ifine? And the chef is like, I left Ifine for you. That was the moment they knew the boy is not in the house and they started looking for him. They did not even think to check the swimming pool because they felt maybe he's hiding. It's a big house. So before you finish checking the entire house, it's gonna take a while. So currently it's being said in the station now, the chef and the, the nanny are pointing fingers at each other. Nobody wants to take the blame, nobody wants to take the fall. The, the nanny is saying that she left the, the boy with the chef and the chef is saying, you didn't leave the boy with me. I'm a chef here, I'm not a nanny. My job is to cook. Your job is to look after the boy. And that is where it boils down to right now. This has now turned into a case of negligence. It's no longer an accident because someone would have to pay. And frankly speaking, someone needs to be held responsible for the death of this boy. It was now later said that it, uh, the, the security man was the one who later went to the pool to check and found a finding underneath it. And that is how they figured out that he had died. Another aspect of this case that may come into play would be how Ifain got into the pool. Is it through the backyard door or through the backyard gate? Because if it's through the backyard gate, someone else is going to take the blame. However, if it's the backyard door, if Ifain went to that swimming pool through the backyard door, this might mean he might have been with the chef because I would assume the backyard is really close to the kitchen as it is in most homes. So if Ifain went into that pool through the backyard door, then maybe the nanny is right that he was with the chef. That is if the house is one of those houses where the backyard is tied to the kitchen. And we all know that the chef is usually mostly in the kitchen. I mean, that's our job, right? To be in the kitchen. It could also be that the chef was probably busy doing a, a job cooking and did not really notice when he find swooped in and went through the back. And clearly the nanny was very busy taking the phone call. The situation is really sad. It was said David Doe, by the time they came back, ran mad for a moment. He tore himself up and wanted to run to the roads, but he was held back and he and uh, his wife had been taken to his father's house and that's where they are trying to manage the situation. So we will just have to wait and see because like I've said, in as much as this is an accident that happens a lot, this is David Doe's child. Someone would have to pay. Uh, it's an accident but it's due to negligence. Someone would have to pay. Someone would go to jail because of this boy. And from the look of things or from what is being said, it's, it's down between the chef and the nanny and who knows, maybe the both of them. But you guys let me know what you think. Let me know who you think should be blamed. If it's boiled down to the chef or the nanny.